The year is 2026 and AI is everywhere. I believe we have four years left before the AI takes over the entire world. So a group of me and my friends got together and decided we wanted to make our own island out in the middle of nowhere. We have four years to get this goal done and be self-sufficient or we'll fall to the corruption of the AI. Will we succeed? Will we fail? Find out in today's video. P.S. Thank you, G-Portal, for hosting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm currently driving back home right now. And as y'all can see, we just are leaving the sale. So I made a mistake. I'm on a minute. Uh, I made a mistake. I'm human. And the mistake I made was I did not hit the record button. I made that mistake. I didn't record what we were doing when we were doing it. So that was a massive mistake on my end. But ladies and gentlemen, as we're leaving right now, we did end up picking ourselves up a Kloss, a, not Kloss, Cat Combine. A Caterpillar Combine. I do really like the way this thing looks. This looks amazing to me. And we also picked up ourselves a new Cedar of Sorts. And then on top of that... We have the grain head for it down there. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot y'all missed. And honestly, if y'all want to see a lot of this footage, stuff like that, go check out Yosho's channel and go check out go check out Trinity's channel. All that stuff will be in their videos coming up very soon. If y'all want to see this type of stuff, go check them out. They're great people. But right now, we're on our way back to the farm with what we have. But before we do stop at the farm, me and Jenna are going to stop before everybody else does and pick up another tractor. I'm going to surprise y'all once we get back to the farm. See you there. All right, looks like Jen's pulling in down there, and we are finally here back at the main farm with all of the goodies from the sale. We ended up going and picking up a John Deere 4430. It was not the 4455 like I wanted, uh, 4955. But we were able to pick up some good high-quality machines, and looks like the rest of the boys picked up their own stuff. So I think we're starting to get to a point where we don't really need to work with each other as much as we once did. It's getting scary. I'm going to miss them. But we're on the next stages of the farm cycle. And that is, of course, first things first. Let's get this thing unloaded. That's the first thing we got to do. We got to get all the combine in the shed. Get everything ready to rock and roll. I think Jenna should be coming down the road in a minute with the other stuff. And let's get all the shed doors open. Home sweet home where we ought to be. Yeah, just go ahead and leave that right there. We'll get everything unloaded, Jenna. Yeah, all right. Let's just part this right in here. Oh, fits perfect right here. Perfect. All right, and since we had a load of stuff weird, let's go ahead and back this on off. Now, one thing we did end up doing, we ended up switching out our header trailer out for a natural Demco header trailer. We like, I like these a little bit better. And also, it's just a little bit of a nicer header trailer all the way around. Right now, though, I'm going to attempt, since this is a pivot, I'm going to attempt to get this inside of there. I doubt I will be able to. You know what? Let's, uh, let's do me a favor. And let's get this out of the way. So one thing we did end up doing, we ended up purchasing this trailer as well. So we do own all of our trailers now. So we'll back this on up here. We do need to eventually look at buying a semi-truck trailer or a grain trailer for the semi-truck and maybe even a auger wagon would be nice to look at eventually. So guys, I want y'all's opinion down in the comment section. Do we keep going with the lumber business or do we kind of cut that off since we have a huge farm and just focus on farming? I want y'all's guys' opinion all down in the comment section below because I do feel like we're progressing really, really, really fast and we're about halfway through the season at this point. So we'll part this right here. Jen's getting that off and once she does that, we'll go ahead and get this back into there. Alrighty, detach that right there. And actually, we'll probably leave this inside of here as well. And let Jenna get that job done while she's working on that. I think I'm going to do a little bit of crop scouting. See what's out here in the field and what everything's looking like out here in the field. So far, this corner here looks like it's doing pretty good. The nitrogen down on it looks perfect, in my opinion. Soybeans couldn't get no better than that. We are lacking a little bit on the pH of this wheat. That's it was a more of a winter wheat. So we're going to see what we can do about bumping that up a little bit. Alrighty. So right now we're heading on back to the farm. We have our thing full as we can get it. So we ended up purchasing this right here. It's an old one, but it's a good old fashioned lime spreader. It's going on winter wheat. I'm not that concerned with it. So we can just take it over there slow and easy. We did buy some extra bags of lime because I can imagine this is not going to be the only field of lime we honestly need to do. Alrighty, so now we should be good just to go ahead and there we go. We will definitely be upgrading this as soon as we can, but this is all they had on shorthand. So since this is all they have, we just gotta take what we can get right now. We kind of get it where we need it to be, is all we're trying to do. I know we're not gonna probably be able to cover it all with the amount of lime we do have, but if we can cover enough of it to make a little bit of an impact, I say it's worth it right now. We didn't spend but about seven, eight grand on it so far. 
all righty we just got done with that field and putting all the lime down that should definitely produce a little bit more in the meantime i think i'm kind of getting a little bit of an itch right now there's a lot needs to be done i think i'm gonna go ahead and start spraying a field i'm gonna start getting you on out jenna should be you're selling some loads of lumber eventually hopefully if she's not just sitting still all right and now we just got to spray these weeds out of this field then put down some fertilizer so we get the maximum yield out of this field we can man this is starting to look like an actual farm it was weird i mean just not too long ago we had like an all everything was like super small off grid now we're going big time with it i tell you it's just it's amazing how fast that lumber industry is really producing for us but i do seriously think we're making a little too much money i, I do want to know what you guys think if we should or not keep it hey hey Give me a second. I wouldn't walk in those chemicals. <coughs> oh, tell me that after the fact. Hey, you see me in a sprayer. What do you think I'm doing? Oh, man. Uh, I was coming to see if I can get that uh, cedar from you today. I want to see if I can get some seed in the ground. Yeah, go for it. Uh, should be inside of, I don't know, in a shed somewhere. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, it should be inside one of the sheds. Shouldn't be too hard to get all of it. All right. Thanks, sir. Hey, Trinity. Hey, Yosho. Hey, Nate. How you doing? Let me guess. You need something, too? I do. All right. What's your name? I need, need a man your with the money. Disc. All right. Let me go over there. Are you sure that thing's going to have enough horsepower? It's got 150. That's not enough horsepower. What do you mean it's not enough horsepower? I can go ahead and tell you, Yosho. That's probably down there at the lower side. That's not going to be enough horsepower for my disc. My disc is, requires 190. Oh. Well, then. I'll let you borrow a tractor. I'll leave this one here with you. All right, looks like they got, they left both of their tractors here, so at least I have a rental, they, I have rentals, like start renting out to people. If they don't ever return, I should start charging people. All right, there we go. And we are back to rolling. So let's go ahead and get this entire field done and start on the next project. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's brand. Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about Breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this Funny business Cause up there it's complicated And overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need Alrighty, so we just got done spraying that field I'm not going to spray it with Actually, never mind, we're going to have to spray it That's terrible nitrogen yield all right fire back up let me get that thing sprayed real fast and move on to the next job because we shouldn't have too much more left other than getting a little bit off oh that's pretty much it just spraying get the spraying finished and knocked out for the day and we should be good all righty well we just finished up that there we have all of our fields fertilized that need to be fertilized aka put nitrous on and we are going to put this up and what shed yeah we'll put it up in the shed where all the other chemicals are uh, sounds like Yosho. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for letting me use the, the cedar there. It worked out beautiful. That's good to hear. That's good to hear, Rick. I just got done spraying all the fields for the day. Oh, yeah, that's something I ain't even thought about yet. Let me guess. You need a bar sprayer? I don't know. Let me let me go see. Uh, let, me, let me go talk to Spencer. I mean, he, he knows what's what. And he'll be able to tell me if we need to spray this time around or not. Oh, well, look at there. Perfect timing. Oh, uh, hey. What's up? How's it going, Trinity? Pretty good. I need to borrow another thing, though. What now? Your cedar. Oh. I just brought it back. All right, go for it. Just saying to YouTube radio, I'm going to start charging rent. What? No, half that cedar's mine. You never paid me, sir. Okay, how much do I owe you? Whatever half was. Uh, well, how much did you pay for it? I paid 20. Oh, boy. I don't know. I may let you keep that one. All right, we're going back to this in here. We'll figure it out. But I know I'm about to start charging trendy rent. All right, he's going to be leaving, and I think I am done for the day i have everything fertilized to my best abilities i'm not gonna put ph down should probably put it up there i'm not gonna worry about that though okay never mind i've actually got to get the mower out because we need to probably start mowing a field for hay bales 
because we do got cattle now. Alrighty, after doing a little bit of digging, getting this old girl out of the shop, we have our mower. We're gonna start mowing up this area. Probably gonna look at getting rid of all these like, small little trees in here, but for right now, we can at least mow the area and get it mowed around. And then once we need the wind rower, which who owns the wind rower now? Cause I think Trendy's burned up and I don't know. We'll find all that out later. But one thing we are going to do, I did list the uh, cedar and I did list the dolly that we have over there for sale. So if you're interested, hit me up for that and we should be good there. Hey, Nate, are you on the radio? Yeah, go for it, bud. Dropping off your cedar. All right, I'm getting done with mowing. I'm going to let this stuff dry for the day and I'm calling it a day. You and me both. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm going to come over here and turn off the tractor, get everything put up for the day. I appreciate y'all watching so very much. I'm going to kind of just pull straight to the house with it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for those for your show to me and my entire family here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited for the stuff coming out in the future of the channel. And the progress we've done on this farm is amazing. And I plan to keep doing more and more progress. If you have any suggestions at all for plot twists, ideas, type stuff, leave it down in the comment section down below. No further ado. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, guys, we're on the road to 50k. We're so close. I want to hit it. Honestly, I think we can hit it by the time school starts up for most people. I think we can hit it by the middle of August. If you can Drop a like, subscribe, share this with as many people as you can. Let's see if we can hit 50k before Farm Sim SWU. I'll say it. Let's see if we can hit 50k before Farm Sim SWU. We're on track. We're doing it pretty good. Let's see. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you on the next one. Peace!